Hundreds of sick sea lions are washing up on the California coast due to an outbreak of toxic algae. And experts say that these more intense algae blooms could be the result of man-made climate change. Aritai Had recently spent the day in Sausalito at the world's largest sea mammal hospital where rescuers are working around the clock to try and save these gentle giants. Stress has always been a part of the job for Dr. Cara Field. But lately, it's been bordering on frantic. I'm going to start taking a look at some of our patients and uh, assess their neurologic responses. For the last three weeks, Field, the medical director at the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, has been in a race against the clock treating dozens of sea lions that have washed up along the California coastline. When we get our patients here in the hospital, one of the most important things is figuring out what the heck is going on with them. Since July 19th, the center has taken in nearly 150 sea lions exhibiting symptoms consistent with what's known as demoic acid poisoning, a neurotoxin that gets into the fish the animals eat. Almost every single pen here is filled with patients in different stages of recovery. Field has the unenviable job of determining which ones can be returned to the wild and which will have to be euthanized. Unfortunately, some animals do suffer permanent brain damage uh, that usually manifests in a form of epilepsy. Um, those animals will not survive in the wild. This female sea lion called Wavy came in two weeks ago lethargic and disoriented. While her penmate seems to be responding well to treatment, Wavy is still struggling. This is her second test. If she fails the next one, she may have to be put down. Can it affect humans? Absolutely. Our brains work in the same way. We have the same types of receptors in our brain. Exactly what happens to sea lions can happen to us. It's a lot like having something like Parkinson's. Clarissa Anderson is an oceanographer with UC San Diego. She says these demoic outbreaks have been happening for centuries, but in recent years, they seem to be getting more frequent and more intense. We've had one major event three years in a row now, and we need to understand if the changes that we're seeing in the water, which might be associated with climate change, are the reason that we're seeing more of these blooms. Meanwhile, back at the center, against all odds, eight of the sea lions are being returned to the wild. Seeing them recover, that's the huge reward for us, and it's a, it's a really good day. Celebrating a rare win, knowing that today's success is just a drop in the ocean. The center says that if you encounter a sea lion on the beach, whether it's impacted by the disease or not, keep a safe distance. They say 50 yards, which is about half a football field. They say don't intervene. They say that sea lions can be unpredictable, as any wild animal can be. And if you need to report a sick animal, please call the center's hotline at 415-289-SEAL.